Hello, my name is Melissa Potter and I'm a student mental health nurse. As a practicum assignment for community-based services, I had chosen to go to Sarah Real Inc., a community-based nonprofit organization funded to provide mental health, substance use, and addiction supports to adults living in Winnipeg, Manitoba. Hello, my name is Melissa Potter and I also identify as a person in recovery for alcohol use disorder. I live with mild anxiety and cope with past trauma. I have been sober consistently for almost three years, and in the last seven years, I've spent six of those years sober. Recovery is not a linear process, and it is something we need to stay on top of every day. Through time and support, it gets easier and becomes more natural. Eventually, we can get to a point in our recovery and healing where we are able to find enough strength in ourselves that we are able to help others. I am approaching this phase in my own recovery, giving back what was given to me. In turn, helping others also helps myself. This is the foundation of 12-step programs. This philosophy and structure of peer support and peer-led meetings has helped to save millions of lives. So I was excited to learn that Sarah Riel recognized the power of peer support and that the organization offered Seneca services as a component of their service delivery. And I wanted to learn as much as I could about it. Seneca services offers two streams of peer support, Seneca Warm Line and Seneca Respite. Seneca Warm Line provides telephone access to a peer support worker. Anyone who is struggling with mental health, substance use, or addiction issues can call and connect with a peer, where they can discuss whatever issues are causing them concern. Support is generally provided for self-regulation, suggestions of self-care, or the provision of available resources. Typically, this service is available from 7 p.m. and 11 p.m., 365 days a year. However, in order to alleviate the stress, anxiety, and isolation of Manitobans during the COVID-19 pandemic, Sarah Riel has been providing a warm line 24 hours a day since March of 2020. Seneca Respite offers participants five night stays in a five bedroom, two bathroom suite in an apartment block in beautiful St. Boniface. Here, the guests are able to establish a routine, eat three nutritious meals a day, and talk to another peer to help work on a recovery plan for when they leave. The respite service, which can be described as pre-crisis, enables individuals access to a peer prior to their issues escalating to a crisis level. With the support of peer staff, they can work on strategies to help de-escalate and ground themselves again to move forward with their recovery goals. Both services are staffed and managed by peers, individuals with a lived experience of mental health challenges, mental illness, addictions, and or substance use disorders. While they have all experienced their own personal struggles, they are now well established in their own recovery. That impression of having been there makes a peer support worker a much safer person to share with. That unspoken understanding that open and non-judgmental presence, that compassionate and genuine regard. That could be why they average 300 guest check-ins per year for the last five years pre-COVID, with an average of 45 new guests annually. The Seneca Services Program at Sarah Real recognizes the positive effects it has not only on individuals receiving care, the peer mentors, but on community development as well. Too often, this work is undervalued, undermined, and unrecognized. This is often the case in volunteer and service work, which is a wonderful part of the recovery journey, wanting to give back what was given to us. Seneca Services has taken the extra step to employ peer mentors on the warm line and respite services, creating a more inclusive working environment in our community. This can be incredibly empowering for the individual in recovery because the employer is saying your life experience of finding recovery from mental illness and or addiction is of value to us and to others experiencing similar hardships. Healing happens through relationship, through connection, 
And often this can happen more authentically through another peer in comparison to a clinical setting where many have experienced stigma and judgment. Another empowering aspect of employing peer mentors is the freedom of the peer mentors to be themselves, that they don't have to hide or pretend they are someone they are not, having to hide their mental illness or recovery from their employer because they are afraid of stigma. This can be a huge relief and contribute to a very healthy working environment for everyone. This is how workplaces and society can help combat stigma. This is how we are able to talk about our realities instead of being so fearful of judgment and suffering in silence. This is what I would like to see more of happening in our community. This is an example of how we create more inclusive, accepting and loving communities and workplaces. Sarah Riel is an incredible leader in its contributions to community development. The Seneca Services programs not only help the individual at a micro level, but contributes to the macro level as well, benefiting society as a whole. Seneca Respite actually helps cut costs to the mental health system. Many individuals report if it wasn't available, they would have to rely on crisis and emergency response services. The warm line helps de-escalate individuals. If they weren't able to reach out to someone, it could have resulted in having to use those crisis services. Too often, those struggling with mental illness and or addictions fall through the cracks. That or they suffer in silence, are too embarrassed or ashamed to confide in work or unwelcome back in the working environment. I would love to see more organizations offer employments of peer support in the community. I would also love to see more supportive and inclusive work environments towards those struggling with mental health issues and to those who are in recovery. One in five individuals will struggle with a mental illness at some point in their lives. Let's talk about it. Let's find ways to include all members of society. Sarah Riel and Seneca Services are excellent role models in our city. When we empower the individual, our whole community benefits from this. When we take community members, society benefits as a whole. Healthcare costs go down, unemployment goes down. When we are empowered, we are more inclined to continue taking care of ourselves in our recovery. When we feel we are in a healthy, supportive environment, it helps maintain good mental health, holds accountability, and we don't have to feel so ashamed for who we are or what we struggle with. We can help others and contribute to creating a healthy, thriving community.